So my name is Lamia Isemleli, I'm the president of uh, Sea Shepherd France and the uh, campaign leader of the Operation Mare Nostrum. The Operation Mare Nostrum is a campaign that's uh, focusing on um, ghost nets in the Mediterranean Sea and also all sorts of trash, plastic, domestic trash. The idea behind the campaign was um, double. First of all, it's to help uh, raise awareness about um, the threats uh, that plastic represents for marine wildlife here in the Mediterranean Sea. The Med Sea, unfortunately, is the most polluted water in the world uh, when it comes to plastic and at the same time we also want people to understand and realize how wonderful this sea is uh, still. This is one of the hot spots of biodiversity in the world. We have dolphins, whales, um, all sorts of corals and I think people underestimate how important uh, this sea still is for the marine biodiversity worldwide. This is um, a sea that is being uh, um, surrounded by lands, by big cities. There are 61 big rivers that throw uh, all sorts of waste in that small part of, uh, of the ocean. The Mediterranean Sea is 1% of the worldwide um, maritime surface. And in the same time, we have about 30% of the marine traffic going through it. So it's a very tiny, fragile, and uh, struggling sea that is struggling to survive. And Sea Shepherd is very known for our global campaigns in Antarctica for whales or in the Four Islands for dolphins. This campaign is also um, a way to do something more local. Uh, we started it in France, we are now here in Sardinia, in Italy, and we took this as an opportunity to do something together with the Sea Shepherd Italy entity. I think that uh, in the years to come, uh, Sea Shepherd will gain a lot in um, working closely on uh, on local scales and uh, working together with countries that are um, geographically close. Uh, I think together we can uh, build up um, a good movement to, uh, to protect what's in our backyard. At the same time, it's a, it's a good opportunity that uh, the fact that Sea Shepherd has grown uh, allows us to, to do more things here and with, uh, with local volunteers. There are many volunteers who follow us on TV and see what we do at the other edge of the world and they cannot all uh, drop everything and live on campaigns for months. Um, do something here um, is something that more people can do. So this is an opportunity for them to join the fight um, on a more um, um, acceptable level. I mean, everyone has to deal with their own uh, families and jobs. and So this is something that's reachable for more people. And uh, for us, it's, uh, it's important. Um, it's, um, those are the roots. Uh, I think if Sea Shepherd manages to develop more campaigns like this, um, it will only make the organization stronger as a global movement. And we've been uh, developing a lot of connections in France, uh, now here in Italy. Next step will be uh, probably Corsica. So hopefully next year we'll be able to do another Operation Mare Nostrum um, together with Sea Shepherd Italy or Spain uh, and um, 
to do something even more um, uh, even more organized and uh, with even more people and uh, to target more places. I mean, we've learned a lot from this campaign. This is the first shot and uh, hopefully next year we'll benefit from it. This campaign relies a lot on uh, divers. Um, most of the um, operation uh, is going underwater, so it's about removing ghost nets. Ghost nets are fishing nets that have been uh, lost or abandoned at sea. Uh, sometimes they keep on killing marine wildlife for years, for decades, so it's a major issue. And uh, we've been able to remove uh, quite some quantity of ghost nets with our divers. Um, I mean, there is a lot of overfishing in the world, which is a problem uh, itself. But ghost nets are really nets that keep on fishing for nothing. So it's really something that has to end. The dive clubs have been very supporting of this campaign in France and here in Italy. Uh, they have been providing uh, dive equipment and helping us with all the uh, all sorts of equipment and information on the sites where our ghost nets and um, well, without them it would have been very uh, very difficult to do it. Especially that we've organized all this campaign uh, quite last minute. And uh, this has been uh, compensated by uh, the amazing uh, support that we got from the diving community. For, so for that we are very, very grateful. And uh, thank you very much to Kenny Getty TV channel for their support. <laughs>